Good afternoon, guys. Day one, week three. Hope everybody was nice and tortured yesterday on the beautiful Sunday. Uh, we have a short warm up today, and then we're going to get into this workout. Uh, 12 minute alternating EMOM, three movements, so four rounds each. Uh, if you don't have necessarily the same exact equipment that other people do, uh, pay attention to this description, and I'll walk you through how we're going to modify everything for this in the second piece. So. First minute is going to be 40 double unders or uh, super easy 80 singles. Um, if you guys are doing jumping jacks, make the assessment on how long it might take you, how much work you have to put in on 40 dubs or 80 singles, and make the call if you want to go 40 or 80 on your jump, your jumping jacks. Uh, maybe the whole minute, um, 45 seconds of the minute. You know, keep in mind it is an EMOM, so you guys can play with the intensity a little bit and time it out if you need to do it that way. Uh, the assumption here is that the 40 double unders or 80 singles. Um, will be something that doesn't take as much as probably 50 seconds out of that. Minute. All right, second piece is going to be a 30 second handstand hold. So kicking up, feet on the wall, just holding yourself in position. Uh, if you really want to, you can go into the handstand push ups, that's your call. Um, but it's about 30 on, 30 off. The other things we can do here are a weighted overhead hold. Uh, we could go 31 arm, 30 the other. We could take two dumbbells or two kettlebells and sit into a Z press position and hold them in that position. So we're also working on our overhead mobility position, uh, similar to the handstand. Or you can do a standing barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell hold, however you guys want to do it. Third one is going to be 10 and 10. That's right and left each side on a plank row. The video you guys are going to see after this description is going to have me demonstrating a couple of different things. Doing plank rows with two dumbbells on the ground. Uh, with one dumbbell on the ground and then with one kettlebell, which obviously is a little bit longer You can't get to the floor. So I propped myself up on the coffee table and did it from there uh, The dumbbells since they're stable and we we're able to press ourselves into the floor. I was alternating with 10 10 So one one two two uh, The kettlebell probably takes a little bit too much time to transition back and forth So that would end up in uh, one to ten and then one to ten with the other side keeping in mind too if you guys have only heavy weights um, Time-wise, you got to be able to get those 20 reps done in a minute, so you might need to take the reps down a little bit. All right, feel free to play with it from there and finish that workout. So for completion, 40 double unders, 30 second hold. Uh, if you need to come down, obviously come down, kick back up, try and accumulate 30 seconds, and 10 right, 10 left on the plank row. All right, now that you finished the workout, we are going to finish today with a little bit of a core burner. Uh, I want you guys to try and keep the intensity as high as you can in this. So for six minute AMRAP, 15 sit-ups, ad mat sit-ups, straight legged sit-ups, however you guys want to do the sit-ups, that's your call as long as we are closing the hips. Then followed by a 15 second side plank each side. All right, so obviously 15 seconds, 15 seconds, not much you can do with that. So for intensity, the point is to push those sit-ups as much as you can and try and complete as many rounds as you guys can. This. Obviously, if you're going to finish with the planks, let's try and balance those planks out and maybe hit both sides or five seconds, five seconds, whatever it ends up being. Um, but really try and push yourself to make this a true AMRAP. Who just hit a new PR for home workout days in a row?